Shelby was born here and just didn't thrive, just was having lots of um, respiratory problems and wasn't growing. And we were told the day after she was born that she had a heart murmur and they wanted to get her checked up at the university. Her heart sounded strange to them and they asked if they could bring in pediatric cardiology. Her aortic valve was deformed and it, it was going to pumping. Pumping the blood through. So it was, it was all backing up. up in her heart or in her lungs and so she was a very, very sick baby. Well, we were terrified. She has um, Turner syndrome. She's missing an X chromosome. Unfortunately, the aortic aneurysm is one of the complications, the most rare, most severe complications of Turner syndrome. We didn't know what we were dealing with, but they explained to us what was going to happen and what needed to be done and I think five days later they took her in and and uh, did the surgery and she made it till she was 15 with with just this corrected valve she had never had it replaced yet. Uh, Shelby had surgery in October of 2010 and the surgeon replaced the aortic valve that was abnormal that she had repaired at birth and then he also reinforced the big blood vessel above the aortic valve with artificial material. They took her back in the operating room about every hour to hour and a half they had a nurse or a doctor come up and explain what was going on at that time. The surgery was very long and very complicated um, and, sur and Shelby was in the hospital for two weeks. Um, but the surgery was very successful and she should be able to lead a long, healthy life, going back to dance and marching band and the things that she loved. They were so sweet to her. The nurses just babied her like she was the only person yeah, on the floor, you know, I mean, they just, they came and they washed her hair, they gave her massages, I mean, they just, they knocked themselves out. I love going there and I always try to go walk into the intensive care and like see some of the doctors and nurses that I had. I like going back and talking to them. She's progressing very well, I would say. She, I'd, I'd say she's doing great. She had her surgery in October, October and um, she March, was, she was out in New York. She was able to march in the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yeah, I don't even know how to express it. We're so grateful. We uh, thought we might lose her. Words I, re I don't think can really express the gratitude and stuff that we feel. They've saved our daughter and... Yeah, it, it was... Just Phenomenal. I mean, these guys work miracles every day. When it's your child there, you know, it's just a, a traumatic event and to see them come through with flying colors like she did. And there's just no way to thank them. Mm -hmm.